Welcome to Studio Video, folks. I'm your friendly host, James Thomas. This is where I typically introduce you to fashion models and photographers. I demonstrate how I draw their charcoal portraits, I share my most recent commissions, and hopefully set some dope art on your wall. So if that sounds interesting, please like and subscribe for more continual content. And if you're curious on how you can get a one-of-a-kind unique charcoal portrait, please follow the link below in the description to get you started and maybe get featured on the show. We're traveling to two locations today, baby. We got Indianapolis, Indiana, and Reno, Nevada. Let me introduce our fashion fitness model, Kania Fernandez. She's doing her thing out of the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada. And let me introduce the gifted photographer, currently based in Indianapolis, Josh Saltzman. Josh has been snapping images internationally for over 10 years, specializing in delivering the highest quality photos for weddings, musicians, and travel. Gang, please see their links below. Really sharp stuff. This is the image I'll be drawing from. The energy captured in this image is really off the scale. I love these colors. The magenta hue pulled over this image gives this a feminine fashion cyberpunk type vibe. I find the most interesting thing in the image is the contrast and scale of tones happening exactly where I like to focus on, the face. The decision for Kenya, the model, to wear the glasses was such a genius move. The reflections in the glasses further exaggerate the complexity and contrast in a tighter focal point with the sharpest shapes. Josh and Kenya, kudos for thinking of that small detail. It was really smart. Well, gang, let's get into it. Boom, here's Kenya, folks. This may be my best one yet. I really had wanted to focus on the one area of highest contrast and let the rest of the portrait fade back like a camera's aperture. I was experimenting with a new type of paper, the Arnhem White Fine Art Paper. I've never used it before. I was used to my Rives Heavyweight white paper that has a lot more of a toothy texture. But with this new type of paper, I was able to capture a smoother range of tones and texture out in the more ethereal, abstract area of the composition. All right, thanks and kudos to the boys at my local Plaza Artist Materials Supply for the recommendation. I'm really happy with it. And as always, viewers, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and if you're curious on getting yourself a one-of-a-kind unique charcoal portrait, please follow the link to get you started. Kenny and Josh, here's a big virtual hug out to both of you. Thank you so much for the chance to creatively collaborate with you guys. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. 
uh, and viewers. It doesn't end with Josh and Kenya here. Please follow their links below in the description for more eye candy. And speaking of being thrilled with other creatives, please check out my friends at Creatives On Call. Creatives On Call has been helping employ creative professionals like designers, illustrators, copywriters, marketing and creative consultants for the last 25 years, and they're clutch now more than ever. I've been working with Creative On Call for more than a decade now, and I can honestly say they've taken a college education in the creative arts and transformed it into a fruitful career. Please see Creatives On Call's link in the description below and find out how they can help you. Well, gang, that's all I got this time. But until next time, I'll sketch you later.